Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your hydration bladder. Uh, this is something uh, that you know a lot of people have requested, so I figured out figured that uh, you know I went hiking last night. I used this pack. I need to clean this bladder anyway, so I might as well show you guys how it's done. Now, of course, every bladder is different, and the way that you'll go about cleaning them will vary somewhat. So, um, you know, it really depends on how much of your hand you can actually get inside of your pack, uh, if you need to use a tool, uh, so on and so forth, but we'll touch on that stuff later. Um, so, uh, yeah, and also, uh, it really depends on how dirty your bladder is, and it will determine how thorough of a cleaning job you need to do. So, we might as well take the bladder out of the pack here, and we'll get started, guys. This is, of course, the FILBE hydration carrier. Uh, the bladder is from Camelback. Super, super nice. Holds a lot of water, three liters. <clears throat> and it's really easy to clean. And definitely when I'm looking at a hydration bladder, I want to make sure that I can easily clean it. All right. So here we have our hydration bladder. This is the cam uh, Camelback Antidote bladder, military version. Of course, got the hose. Go ahead and disconnect the hose from your bag. Almost all bladders will allow you to disconnect the hose in some fashion. Some you might have to just kind of wiggle its way off of the stem. Um, some will actually have a quick release such as this. It's, I'll show you right here. Some have that right there. As you can see, it's just a release. So, disconnect the tube. Drain up whatever water you have left in there. Get out as much as you can. That will make your life a little bit easier. So if you gotta shake, sh shake it over the sink or go outside, whatever you gotta do. Now of course you're not gonna get it all. It's just how it is. Okay, I'm pretty pretty pleased with that. Now you can you can use paper towels. You can use hand towels, so on and so forth. I like paper towels myself. So, I'll start with two. Just kind of wad them up. And basically, I'm gonna rub the lid as good as I can, go around the perimeter of it. I'm gonna go now to the inside of the pack, the bladder, and I'm just gonna rub around the corners of the bladder itself. And what I'm doing here, is I'm just getting out as much of the moisture as I possibly can, trying to reach those hard to get to areas. The point here is really just to rub out the entire bag. It's not to dry it out 100%. We're just gonna let the, the air take care of that part. We're gonna air dry the bladder once we get this done. You're just trying to hit up all the big pockets of moisture. Be careful not to uh, allow any of your paper towel to rip inside of the bladder. Okay. We're almost done with this step. If you do this every time that you use your bladder, you will never have a problem and you'll never have to do a big cleanup. It's always easier to maintain your gear properly spend a little bit of time on it instead of having a big problem on your hands. By just simply doing that, you don't ever have to take a brush, you don't have to scrub it out, you don't have to use alcohol or other uh, cleaning agents to clean the pack. That means a lot. So now that this thing is good and dry, the big pockets are kind of are bitten hit, you're just going to let this thing air dry. Put it on the table, put it in the, you know, in the kitchen sink, something like that, just let it air dry. It'll be fine and dandy. Now comes the tube. And for a lot of people, this is their biggest problem. Yeah, it's easy to stick your hand inside your bladder, but what do you do about the tube? And I tell you what, there's a little secret here. Disconnect the mouthpiece. Blow out at the air. Shake it like it owes you money. Whatever you gotta do. You know, you could stick a Q-tip up in here. You could dry that out if you really, really need to. Um, 
Just do the best you can. Let it air dry, it'll be fine. Now with your tube here, you have it disconnected from the bladder, you have the mouthpiece disconnected. So, you can just shake it around, get all the water out of it. All right, you can let it air dry. Now, of course, if your hydration bladder has been, you know, um, filled with water for a while, if there's been water in your tube for a while and you need to clean it out, there are a couple things you can do that are not so difficult. You will need a knife. You will need some paracord. And basically what you're gonna do here is, you want a piece of paracord that is longer than your hose. So, let's see. And once you cut a piece of paracord for this, you can always use it, you can keep it. Uh, you don't have to throw it away or anything like that. And you can use this to clean your tube whenever you need to. As you can see here, I have a piece of paracord that's a good bit longer than the hose itself, and that's exactly what I want. You take your knife, cut the paracord. So as you can see here, your paracord's longer than your hose. Awesome. On one end of the paracord, tie a knot in it. Now you can tie multiple knots if you want to. I think one to two knots is just fine. And of course you can pull them tighter so they can fit through your tube if you need to. Now all you have to do is feed this through your hydration tube. Now that may be semi-difficult depending on the tube that you have. Not all of them have a big opening all the way through. Just like this one. It has a smaller Hole. So basically, I'm gonna have to use a runner. I'm gonna tie a piece of string to this end, and I will put that on a I can uh, a piece of wire. I can put that on a clothes hanger, something like that, and feed it through the tube. Pull it out one end. Pull this all the way through the tube. Pull those through, and there you go. Now, for the sake of this video. Um, I actually didn't bring any uh, string out here with me, and I didn't bring a piece of wire to put that through. But you guys get the point. Uh, you can just shove it through, feed it, and end up pulling your piece of 550 cord through the tube itself. The knots will clean all the way through. Nice and simple. Not a whole lot to it. Of course, that is more of a chore than just simply drying it out. And that's why you need to take a little bit of extra time after you go on your trip and dry out your bag dry out your tube, and then you really don't have to worry about such things. Now, if your bag gets dirtier, uh, you know, if your hose has been filled with water for a long period of time, kind of funky, kind of rank, uh, you can use 91% alcohol, and you can clean out the tube. You could just pour a little bit down there, let it come out the bottom, and basically just twirl your hose. It'll, it'll dry out real quick. It'll kill all the germs. Uh, the same goes for the inside of your bladder. A little bit goes a long way, guys. Now, if your bladder has mold growing in it, or if the tube has mold growing in it, I suggest that you just throw it away. Um, I mean, you could possibly spend a great deal of time cleaning it out, uh, but it would definitely be a lot of work um, to get to all the little nooks and crannies that your bladder has in it. I suggest you would just chuck it, buy another one. Hydration bladders are not all that expensive. It really is the carrier itself, also known as the pack, that's the most expensive part. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you clean your, your bladder, and just take care of it, maintain it, it'll last you forever. For this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, I wish you all well.